Okay, so we called the meeting to order and actually there's nothing really on the agenda until the public hearing and we're going to start that right now. So it's uh, 6, uh, 6.02. We're going to uh, have a public hearing in regards to the constant yield tax rate. Steve Repol, can you tell me uh, do we have a resolution on the constant yield tax rate? I guess they can't hear me. They should be able to just Okay, can you hear me now? Yep, we got you. Okay. okay. Uh, there was an advertisement in the, in the Cecil Wig saying that the county, uh, the mayor and commissioners of the town are proposing to increase the real property tax rate to a rate above that of the constant yield tax rate. Because our assessments have gone up um, uh, somewhat, the tax rate should be lowered to generate the same amount of revenue as the previous year. But because the town is considering the adoption of the same tax rate as FY21, it is above the constant tax rate. Therefore, we have to advertise that and the amount of additional revenue that that will generate, uh, which is $109,756. And we have to have a public hearing to allow for a comment on the proposed increase to the total property tax bill, which is actually an increase to the constant yield tax rate as calculated by the State Department of Assessments and Taxation. Thank you, Steve. Uh, and we did advertise it properly. And I also noticed that we had it posted uh, several places on this building. Yes. Very good. Uh, does anyone from the board have any questions about the constant yield rate? No. Does anyone uh, in this is a public hearing? Does anyone have any Someone joining, give me just a moment if you will. Okay. Well, hearing nobody, it is now 6.05 and we are going to close the public hearing on the constant yield tax rate. Uh, we don't need to take any action on the constant yield tax rate. Very good, thank you. Okay, so it's 6.05. Now we're gonna have our public hearing on ordinance fiscal year 2022 budget. This is only being presented for introduction purposes only. And I guess I could read this ordinance. Uh, Lou, do you wanna read the ordinance in? Yes, I, I am by here. I was looking at the contract. Okay, it's an ordinance, uh, ordinance 3 2021. It's for the uh, introduction of the fiscal year 2022 budget. And I'll read the uh, ordinance as it's written. Mayor Robert J. Hawk hereby presents the fiscal year 2022 budget to the Board of Commissioners in conformance with Article 8, Section C87, Charter of the Town of Elton, which provides a complete financial plan for the period July 1, 2021 through June 30th, 2022, inclusive of anticipated revenues and expenditures during the aforesaid period. Whereas the mayor is required to present an annual budget to the Board of Commissioners for consideration at least 32 days before the beginning of the fiscal year. And whereas the mayor has prepared and hereby presents the attached budget for fiscal year 2022 for consideration by the board for adoption as attached here too. Now, therefore, the Board of Commissioners of the Town of Elton hereby ordains the following. Section one, fiscal year 2022, that the fiscal year 2022 budget is hereby adopted, actually is being presented for introduction tonight, uh, as presented and or amended here and after uh, providing the estimated revenue and expenditures for the governmental and proprietary funds for the per period of July 1, 2021 through June 30th, 2022. Real property tax rate. At the fiscal year 2022, real property tax rate shall be 
0.6356, which is the current rate of the real property assessment determined by the Maryland Department of Assessments and Taxation, effective July 1, 2021. Stand by a second. Section three, personal property tax rate. That the fiscal year 2022 personal property tax rate shall be $1.21 per $100 assessed value, determined by the Maryland Department of Assessments and Taxation, effective also July 1, 2021. Water and sewer rates. That the water and sewer rates shall be charged and collected as set forth under the Code of the Town of Elton, Title 13, Chapter 1304, Section 1304. 290 unless otherwise amended. This ordinance does not provide for any increase in the water or the sewer rates for the next fiscal year. That concludes uh, the text of this uh, ordinance. Thank you, Lou. Okay, uh, Michelle, if I can get you to go backwards one, there, there we go. Uh, I wanted to show to the board and show to uh, everyone that's on the Zoom meeting. Uh, the general fund expenditures. Once again, this is uh, this is just a budget. There's one thing that uh, is not in the budget, and uh, it's the American Rescue Fund money that may or may not be coming to the town of Elton. I keep saying that uh, we feel pretty comfortable that uh, this is going to be we're going to be adding 6.5 million uh, to this fiscal year budget, uh, but uh, we haven't received any uh, additional information uh, exactly when it's gonna be here, but we know it'll be here by July 1, but it's not in here until we know the actual amount. So hopefully by the time we actually adopt this, uh, we might have some better information. So you'll see on the expenditures up here that if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, the fiscal budget 22, is $14,861,332. And fiscal budget 21, which was the one that we're currently in now, was $14,770,000. So it is an increase of about $161,000. And that's the, the increase of the, pretty much the dollars that we got from uh, the increase in assessments. Okay, if we can go to uh, the next page, if we could. Uh, it's just a, a, a chart that shows where our money goes uh, for the town of Elton. Uh, the taxpayer's money, 48% of the money is spent on public safety. 13% is spent on general government. Our public works department, we spend about 31,000 or 31%. Our parks and rec has creeped up a little bit over the years. Uh, we're up to 5%. Uh, our economic development money, which I continue to say all the time, is too low, but we give 1% in economic development for the town of Elton, and we give out a little less than 1% for donations back into the community. Uh, you'll also see a debt service. Uh, the town of Elton is in pretty good financial shape. Our debt service is really only about 1% of our total budget. Next, but, next page, please. Okay, so our real property uh, tax rate, as you can see, we haven't had a, a tax increase in the rate since 2017 into uh, 2018, and we don't foresee any increase in the tax rate in the near future. Uh, I've stressed over and over again that my, my goal is to make sure that we can maybe at some point reduce our tax rate, but for this year, we're gonna maintain the point six three five six. Next page. Uh, this is the uh, town of Elton constant yield tax rate versus the adopted tax rate, and then the unassigned fund balance balance analysis. Uh, every fiscal year, the town of Elton we we slightly over budget uh, for uh, items, and we always seem to have quite a bit of money coming back from departments. Uh, that allows us to uh, use our fund balance for the previous year. So on to the next one. Our long-term debt with the town of Elton, uh, uh, and we call this long-term debt, uh, this is from the general fund. Currently, uh, 
we have a beginning balance of $656,000. We paid off $92,827 uh, during fiscal 21. And we have an ending balance of $563,173 that we owe in uh, just general fund long-term debt. And that's uh, the financing of vehicles and equipment uh, and so forth. Next page, please. Our bank accounts, as you can see, we had a, a little bit of hit in fiscal uh, 21 uh, with both, uh, uh, we, we froze the major facility uh, fees. We've uh, had our water and sewer fees, uh, maintain them the same, uh, but we've also uh, have had some less money coming in uh, during the COVID year. But you can see our, our uh, cash and cash equivalents have gone down a little bit. And part of that is, as you know, from the sewer, we borrowed, uh, I think it was close to $3 million from the sewer fund to uh, pay for the Parks and Rec uh, facility. The next page, please. So on the next page, you'll see our wastewater treatment uh, plant upgrade and expansion, which was completed in 2009. We had a original debt service of over $21,398,474. So since uh, 2009, the town of Elton has retired or paid off over $14,028,364. And so we have a balance left on the wastewater treatment plant upgrade and expansion. It was completed in 2009 of $7,370,000. $110. Next page, please. So the highlights of this budget, uh, I can go through these. The, the, the real property tax rate is the exact same as what we've had over the last uh, five or six years, which is a 0.635. Those are the same tax rates not only as last year, but in many of the previous years. So the business property tax rate is 1.21, which is the same rate as last year and for the same amount as we've had in previous years. Um, on line item three, we are proposing a quarterly tax collection fee increase of 80 cents per quarter. So our current rate right now is $32.50 per quarter for the residential trash collection. We had a, uh, we put it back out on quote and they came back slightly higher. So there's a, the new trash collection fee is proposed at $33.30, which is 80 cents a quarter or uh, basically 20 cents a month more uh, to get your trash and your, your recyclables picked up. Uh, item four, the salary adjustments. Uh, the Elton the Police Department is a, uh, uh, has collective bargaining. They're, they're unionized here in the town of Elton. Uh, Many years ago, they solicited for and the taxpayers of the town of Elton voted in favor of that. So every uh, several years, we have a uh, we have arbitration with our police officers. And during fiscal 20, uh, 22, there is no cost of living increase based on this on our agreement, but they will receive a 3% increase on their anniversary date. So this budget reflects a 3% total increase uh, for the officer's uh, salaries for fiscal 22. All non-police employees, that's everyone other than the uh, Elton Police Department, will receive a 3% uh, cost of living increase effective July 1st, 2021 in this budget. The uh, item number five, uh, the town of Elton has been uh, using a contracting a contracted service for our human resources department. And uh, we believe it's time to fill that with a, a full-time person that is actually on site all the time for us. So in this budget, you'll see that uh, it's for a new position of an HR director to be filled here for the town of Elton. Uh, item number six is the fringe benefit fit package for the town employees. The uh, health insurance, this is one of the first years I, I've ever been involved that uh, we haven't had a projected health insurance increase. 
So we're right at zero percent, which is great news. Uh, the next page, please, Michelle. Uh, the town of Elton committed to uh, its Main Street program, and uh, we are committed to the Main Street program. And uh, each and every year, we've been funding uh, uh, the project. Um, this year is no different than any of the years in the past that we're going to go ahead and put $100,000 into the Main Street program. Uh, some of the great things that comes out of that over the last several years, we've been able to get returns on that $100,000 to where it's been uh, matching in facade monies for the businesses and the building owners uh, down in downtown Elton or in that Main Street area. Uh, so it works out very well. Uh, and lastly, uh, we're going to use, the, once again, our fund balance again this year. It's very similar to what we used last year of $1.984 million, which would balance this budget for this year, for fiscal 22. The uh, budget highlights uh, for the next page, please. The water fund, uh, there is no increase to the water rate. Uh, there is no new position to be created in the water fund. And... Uh, there's going to be use of uh, a fund balance, a water fund balance to help fund this so that there's no increase to the water rate. Uh, the sewer rate, once again, there is no increase in the sewer rate. There's no new position. Uh, we're going to use $850,000 of the sewer rate to fund the sewer rate, uh, or su the, the fund the sewer fund. Now, I want to point out that when you see us using this amount of fund balance from each of those funds, it probably means that our sewer and water rates are too low. And I've always uh, stood up here and say we've got the low, one of the lowest water and sewer rates in the uh, whole state of Maryland. Um, unless we get more users on, uh, then there will have to be probably a future increase in water and sewer. Not this year, but there could be a future increase but I believe that as we get the new users on, that's gonna allow, it's gonna close that gap. So that's kind of what we're waiting on to see what these new users are gonna bring to the table. So that's the highlights, that's the uh, budget as it is. Is there any uh, uh, questions uh, from the board? Thank you. Well, what are some of the objectives you have on the horizon? Um, well, we have quite a few uh, projected new users. Uh, we're going to have the whole Southfield project, which started, uh, we broke ground on uh, about a month and a half ago on the Trammell Pro piece, uh, the state-of-the-art logistic uh, facilities that they're building. Uh, won't, use a fair, won't use a large amount of water and sewer, but there is going to be an impact to that amount. We also have... Uh, Fingers crossed that there could be a, a very nice uh, water and sewer user going in at Upper Chesapeake Orford Center, um, which uh, we, every day we're hoping that uh, we get the final thumbs up on that, but that'll be not only a, a very nice user for us, but it'll be uh, a future employer of the town of close to a thousand jobs, which will be wonderful for all of us. And then we have, uh, uh, there's a, uh, a new facility being built out by the old bingo truck stop. I don't know exactly what that area is called. It'll, uh, uh, it'll work out pretty well uh, if, if we're able to make that happen. So those are a handful of the new users that we have. And uh, the one could be a, a major user. What is the hookup so our hookup fees expire in May. I think it's May of 2022. Is that correct, Lou? I think we're we feel pretty. I, I know it's May. Either May or June. May. So it ends at this fiscal. Yeah. So that's another good point. So uh, we've been very fortunate, and I think that we've been able to bring a lot of business to the town on the books because we did. We're able to uh, freeze the hookup fees, but they go back into effect or residential at the end of this fiscal year. Uh, commercial still pays. That's correct. Any other questions? No, I'd like to say I've, I've seen a lot of budgets. I think we've been 
consistent over the years, and it seemed like this particular year seemed like proposing this and putting it together has been very seamless. So not only do I want to thank you, Rob, for uh, producing this um, for our for our use of the public knowledge, I'd also like to thank Lewis George and his team for giving what assistance for this to be uh, what it is uh, today. Thank you, Charlie. It certainly couldn't be done without uh, uh, Steve Repo and Beth Moran. That's for sure. And Beth Moran. Yes. Okay. So this is a public hearing. Is there anyone on the Zoom meeting that would like to make a comment about the budget? Once again, it's for adoption. A correction, it's for adoption. adoption. For adoption. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> You do have two callers on the line and yeah. I'm, asking them to unmute. I'm asking them to unmute themselves. Okay, I recognize Mr. Lemon. Mr. Lemon, how are you? I think that's Mr. Lemon. He is unmuted. All right, well, listen, it is uh, 621. No one seems to have any other questions. This budget hearing is closed. Thank you. Okay, do we have a motion to accept ordinance 3 2021? It's our annual fiscal 2022 annual budget for introduction purposes only. We have a motion by Commissioner Gibbons, second, second by Commissioner Massimiano. Any discussion on this at all? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Uh, thank you guys. That's really all we had on the agenda tonight. Uh, I would like to say thank you, uh, Bob Maschiano, for the uh, Fish and Rodeo. It was a huge success. And uh, I can tell you, uh, I, I think I was getting some credit because I kept putting on, on my uh, social media page if the leadership of Rob Maschiano made this and of course, they're all hitting back. I, I felt good when they said, great job, Rob. Great job, Rob. <laughs> so I know they were talking about you, and uh, it was a wonderful event. Well, thank you. But it, it certainly wouldn't have gone off if I was there without the help of everyone involved. So I have to thank everyone. That was truly a great night. Everybody. It was. Everybody stayed safe. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's looking forward to next year. Yeah, you had perfect weather. You just dolled right into that perfect weather. Uh, it was a great day. All right. Uh, this meeting is adjourned.